Alright guys, um, I'm just going to show you how to set up uh, the joystick for the um, Logitech Extreme 3D Pro joystick um, in Project Reality. Um, I'm going to patch it at the moment, so I'm just going to show you how to do that. But, uh, the first thing we need to do is go back out of the screen by pressing Escape. And then select options and controls. Now, um, you want to select helicopter for this instance. Um, we're going to use set up the joystick in using the secondary command control um, columns. It's these ones here. Um, the primary ones are default values for uh, keyboard mouse control. So, first thing I'll do is just get rid of these, just by pressing escape, uh, and get rid of them. Um, yeah, right, the first thing we do need to do is set the uh, throttle control. So, on the slider of the Logitech, you would, um, say, so set the slider to about the midway point, and select on the deselect secondary slot, and move the slider to the zero position. As you'll notice, once we do that, the other the accelerate um, axis is added as well, so it detects that automatically. Um, so we want to select, uh, set up the steer left, steer right, or the yaw. So we're going to select steer left and twist the joystick handle to the left. Then we're going to set the pitch forward and back. So we select the pitch back and Select that slot there and pull back on the joystick. As you can see, it's automatically adding the other axis. Um, then we go to our roll. So we're going to select roll left. Click on that and pull the joystick over to the left. Uh, flares, while I'm here, I'll set the flares to one of the switches on my joystick. And we'll set the fire, the main machine gun to the first fire button and I'll turn it fire and set to another switch you guys will just have your preferred buttons that you like to set. Um, one thing that I like to do is to set the uh, view controls for the um, when you're flying it's quite handy so you'd think that we'd be using these camera positions but they don't seem to work, so this is how I've got around it. Um, the first thing I do is set the on my hat switch on top of the joystick. I've got a north, south, east, west hat switch. So I'm going to set the north position to weapon one. Uh, you'll see why I do that, because I'm not really interested in cycling weapons while I'm flying. I find it a bit. Yeah, it's, I just used. I, tend to use the keyboard just to change weapons here. So what I want to do is actually be looking at the window, say to the right, and all of a sudden be able to switch back so uh, to the front pretty quickly to see just in case I crash into something. So I tend to use weapon one slot as the default for my north hat switch. So I'll click on that, push the north hat switch, set that there. And the other thing I do is I want to look left and right so weapon 7 slot gives me the, the left and I think weapon 9 gives me right on my hat switch uh, and weapon 8 is for looking up uh, the other thing I do is set the mouse sensitivity to say I don't know, 1 point just bring it down to 1 depends what you like I was generally set at about 1.5. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it for the heli. So the first, the last thing you need to do is apply it, apply those settings, otherwise you're going to lose them. And then we just hit the escape key and we're back to the chopper. So to test out uh, the views,
place in my views. And the other, the only other thing to do would be to say if you wanted to use your mouse to look around, you can lock the control and just look around like that. But I just tend to restrict it to just the three views generally. Now this should work. Uh, if I move the throttle flat, full forward, it should allow me to take off. Um, So that's how easy that is to set up. 